So we've just finished planting our tree in our container and it turned out beautiful. And this would be gorgeous at anyone's home, no matter if it's in their front yard, backyard, courtyard, up by their front door to have a pair of them flanking their front door. Be beautiful. Now we're gonna go on and look at doing a pure sun garden. Let me put a little bit more dirt in our container. And this container has already had the screen. As I said, we start out with the gravel. We've got the dirt in there. I need a little bit more. I'll probably be taking out some too, but it's always better to have a little more in there. And then you can always pull back. First off, I'm going to start out with Mystic Spires Salvia. This is absolutely one of my favorites. It just keeps on giving all summer long. Yes, you do have to deadhead as these um, spires wither, but just look at that gorgeous, gorgeous purple lavender and just keeps on giving. And it's great. It seems to be very drought tolerant too. And I will start off with this. And this will be the center of my planter. This does need to be broken up, this uh, root ball is so tight and it feels like it's almost root bound, but anyway, here we go. So I'm going to have to probably come around the front and try not to block the view as I plant this up. Uh, some of these you might even have to have a serrated knife, which I use all the time because some of these root balls are so hard. This is the big ear lamb's ear that I was talking about. I mean, just look at that. And the quality and the feel of that leaf. Just like I said, be beautiful to cut it, bring it inside to put with other plants. All right, you always have this on lamb's ear where you have withered leaves at the bottom. So you wanna clean that up really well before putting it in. your container. And it doesn't matter if you pull off some good leaves, more will grow. So, just take that serrated knife and cut. You're not hurting anything, but don't be afraid that you are. So you know. And then, you know, maybe take a little off the edge. Lavender. This is another Monrovia product. Love this phenomenal lavender, as you can see, and I wish you could smell it. Just imagine what the best smelling lavender is like, and you have hit it. It's like you're in a field in France and, and it's just coming at you with the wind blowing. It's absolutely beautiful. And it too will put out uh, gorgeous lavender colored spired like this. So on this one, I'm gonna take a lot of the dirt off, which you just kind of have to. It will do well, but it will do better for my plants if I have more of it off. So I want to tuck it right here. So generally when I'm doing a container, I always do the front first and then I spin it around so I can do uh, the back side of the container. All right, now I want to introduce some other colors. And I'm going to 
going to introduce yellow in this Gerber daisy. I love Gerber daisies. I know a lot of people don't um, because they have to deadhead or they doesn't produce flowers fast enough for them, you know, after you've deadheaded. But with any plant that you deadhead, you know, it does take a while for it to reset and put out new bloom. And that's just how perennials are. I'm going to use this lantana because this will bring, you know, the butterflies. All of this will bring bees. And so that's another must that you want to do. Plant things that will bring bees in and your garden will be very happy. And you will be very happy that you've done it too. I'm going to put some zinnias in. This is a plant that everyone must have. It's called a Turk's cap. It brings in butterflies. It brings in, it's a perennial. It brings in hummingbirds. Uh, this is a plant that one of our suppliers uh, brought to us because I was talking about this exact plant, not knowing the name of it, uh, from my grandmothers. And I have cuttings from my grandmothers, and these things get large, they're beautiful. The, the blooms, and when they're first, they're, they're more um, conical shaped and closed up, then they open up to this little flower. But anyway, this is something that everybody should have in their garden. It's just gorgeous. It is a true perennial. It does go down, but, um, but I love mine. And I was so excited when we got them. And I gave a talk here about planting. I told everybody they had to have this. They had to have the milkweed. You know, you just have to have those kind of things if you're gonna be a gardener and you know, you want to see the hummingbirds and the butterflies and the bees and, you know, just see everything. But this, this plant brings in the hummingbirds like I've never seen. And as it grows, it grows in a rounded shape. You'd never know it by this. But every year it comes back and it just gets wider and wider. It's about... Mm, I don't know, mine is about three feet tall. Yay big, but, and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. So I'm gonna put this back here so that it has a little bit more room for growth back there. And I love the color of the leaves too. Uh, it just offsets with that chartreuse color to all the other green shades. Also the lands here, that bluish gray shade. Now I'm going to put in the milkweed. So this is a native milkweed. It will get large by next year. Uh, this probably will have to come out of this container. But for now, it will do the trick and you will enjoy and get many hours of pleasure watching it grow. And then, you know, this is a great thing to do with your children. Um, you know, as they're young, getting them interested uh, in the garden and getting them interested in planting, whether it be vegetables or flowers, it's just a great thing to be able to do with your children. So, we'll put some more zinnia in. room for it somewhere. It's such a beautiful echinacea. Uh, it's the, it's an, also a Monrovia product. These are absolutely gorgeous. It's called Fatal Attraction uh, Cone Flower. This thing is gorgeous. Look at all 
of the butts. I mean, it's just ready to explode. And that's how all of them look out in our nursery lot right now, over in the perennial uh, section that we have here. Uh, we have a beautiful perennial section, an unbelievable selection of hostas. I mean, practically any kind of hosta you can think of, we've got. And, you know, we're capable of ordering so many different varieties. Now, a must in so many of my containers, I love the smell of mint. And if you could smell just like the lavender, if you could smell this peppermint mint, it's just like true summer has come. And when the wind blows, you'll get that sweet smell and it just takes you in. So this is gonna go right up here next to my lantern. It's gotta be front and center. Front and center. Okay, I'm gonna get some more lantana. If there's room, I want one more thing, which is an annual, it's called Scavola. My most fave annuals that there is. It comes in, well, they don't call it purple, but it's blue. Um, and the white, the white is gorgeous. I use a lot of that at my customers because I plant so many containers. I get go to people's homes and plant their containers at. Okay, so now we got that right there. Now there's one more spot. And this, this is the Scavola that I was talking about. I don't think we're gonna have room for that, but I might be able to take it apart. But that, fan flower, it just keeps on giving. It is, it is absolutely one of the best plants you could possibly have done. I am enamored with this. So let's see if I can take a little bit off this hanging basket. And just put a tad bit that spot right there. I practically stripped all the dirt off, as you can see, but going back in dirt. Uh, so, once again, we do do the moss and put it around the edge of the entire plant. This will bring you your butterflies, your um, hummingbirds, your bumblebees, and it's a beautiful summer sun arrangement.